Procreate 5 is still not out on the App Store, but it has changed from the private beta and I am in the private beta team and now they changed it to the public beta. So around a thousand artists can now test out Procreate 5 as well. And with this new build, they have added a new feature, which is called Harmony. And in this video, I'm just going to go over all the different Harmony colors you can use. This new feature in Procreate 5 Beta is a great add-on in the color menu. But how does it work? First of all, what is Color Harmony? Color Harmony exists since the Renaissance and the scientific revolution. Artists and scientists have come up with color combinations that work well together and are in harmony. They either enhance each other or they have a great contrast. There are five types of harmony or color schemes. Complementary, split complementary, analogous, triadic, and tetradic. When you go to the color menu and choose the harmony tab, you will see the harmony color disc. It looks different than the standard color disc. It has no hue ring. Instead, it has two or more color radicals. By default, it is set to complementary. When you tap on the title on the top left, a menu appears with all of the color harmony schemes. Let's start with complementary. In the color menu, complementary colors are opposite of each other. The bigger radical is your main color and the smaller radical is the opposite color. You can choose the most saturated colors when you keep the radical on the outside of the color wheel. You can choose lighter colors when you go inside the color wheel. Underneath the color wheel is a brightness slider to adjust the brightness of your colors. Slide it to the left to turn down the brightness and slide it to the right to turn up the brightness. You can use all of the hues in the color. They are all the same color family. When using these color harmonies, the main color you choose will be the main color in your painting. The other colors will play a lesser part in your painting. You can use them to enhance your composition. Color history. The guys at Savage have listened to the proposals of all the testers and might have looked at Adobe Fresco for the color history swatches. When you select the color and paint with it, a swatch is added to history. Split complementary. Split complementary colors are the same as complementary colors, except on the opposite side of the color wheel, they split into two colors that are close to each other. Colors that are closer together on the color wheel are also called analogous colors. With split complementary colors, you can add another color to the color scheme to your painting to have more variety. Analogous. Analogous colors are close to each other in the color wheel. They create a more monochrome feel to your painting or design. This is composed of a root color and two or more colors that are closer by. With the analogous picker, you can only create two extra colors, but you can choose more colors by sliding the main radical. Triadic. Triadic colors act the same as complementary colors, but there are three colors that are equidistant to one another. The distance is created by a perfect triangle. The most basic triadic colors are the primary colors red, blue and yellow. In this color wheel you cannot choose these three colors because RGB is built up from red, green and blue. It's just how computer screens work. Tetradic. The last color scheme is Tetradic. Tetradic is built up from four colors that are opposite of each other in the color wheel. 
all four colors are distributed evenly around the color wheel, causing there is no clear dominance of one color. The scheme is always vibrant, nervous and colorful. There is equal tension between all the colors. Tedratic is a very aggressive color scheme, requiring very good planning and very sensitive approach to relations of these colors. When you choose a color and paint with it on the canvas, a swatch will automatically be selected in history. The history does not work well yet. Sometimes it will change the colors. This is still the better version, but you can be rest assured that when Procreate 5 will be released, this glitch will be fixed. I already made a video about using a split complementary color scheme, painting the portrait of Mary Blair. I'll leave a link in the description below this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because each time I upload a new video, you get a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles.